Hi friends, we want users to enter their name and click a submit button to input it to a system. But before they enter the name, the button should be in disabled condition and as they keep on entering the name, the button should be enabled. How we'll do that? For doing that, we have to manage the attributes of the input box or the button. Now that way we'll control the attributes based on the input conditions and manage all these outputs. So for that, we can list out all the attributes of a uh, wizard and we can set the values, we can read the values and based on the logic or based on the our requirement, we can change the same. So let's learn about this. But before we move, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's start the script. This is the basic window. On this we'll add a button here, bt1, let's say tk.button. My parent window is my underscore w. Now what should be text written over that? Now that should be let's say write welcome and uh, we'll set some uh, let's say width, width equal to 20. So now let's place it on a grid. So bt1 dot grid row equal to zero, first one. So column equal to zero. Will not flush with the left edge. So pad x equal to let's say 20 or let's give more. Pad x is equal to 100 and pad y equal to 100. Now this, let's just see this window, how this looks. Here it is. You can see here we have written welcome. Now let's give a bigger size font here. Directly I can write the font equal to, let's say 22. Now let me run this and see, fine. It's little bigger font, I can click the button also. But let me just, whatever I have set it here, these are all the attributes, values I have set it. Now. We, uh, even after doing that also, I can change this attribute. Let's say the text says welcome. Let me change this one. So what I will do bt1.config or configure, I can use it. Now I'm saying change the text attribute. Now write a different, give the site name. So let's, now what will happen? It will start with welcome, but immediately it will switch over to this one because that is the next line. So let's run this and see. You can see the text, I have changed it. Now, similarly, I can change the multiple options also or multiple attributes also. So this config I will say, and again, I will say set the BG equal to, let's say light green. And front foreground, I will say font color or FG equal to let's say red. Now this I have multiple attributes I am setting for this button. Now let me save this and run once. Here it is. You can see the background is changed and the font color also changed. Now these are all the attributes which I am changing and these attributes will keep on changing based on our application requirements. I can create a dictionary and apply a set of uh, attributes to the any object or any widget. So for that, let me just change this a bit. Instead of 600, let me give uh, 250. And this also width I am reducing to 150. So now to this, let me remove this, all this and apply a set of <coughs> attributes by creating a dictionary. Let's me create set one. A dictionary I am creating with the key and values. Keys are the attribute names and the values will be there. Let me say FG or the foreground color. Now I am giving it as red. So one more, let me say font. Now this time when I am giving, sorry, I have to write it font. When I am giving the font values, so for that I will use a list here as the values for the font. So I am saying Arial. Now what next font size? So it is 18 and the font style let me give bold here so this is the uh, font i have set it now few more i will give i let me change the text also so text i am writing say king and queen sorry i'll put it in the quotes king and so whatever the default text is there i will replace with that so now i give in the text now background color or big bg now this also i have to put it within quotes now what I will give a background color. Let me give light green. So okay, let this, this set of uh, attributes I will apply to my button here. So for that, let me just write bt1.config. 
or configure now i am saying set one <coughs> now set one what i have declared it here as a dictionary all the attributes here whatever is i declared now that will be applied to this button now let's just see how this button now looks sorry it is pad x pad y it has taken more let me remove this pad x and let me pad x i will give 30 <coughs> so it is not going out and this i am giving 25 now let's see how this one here it is you can see all the foreground color is uh, or the front color is uh, red and the background is light green i have applied the set of attributes to this button few attributes we managed or given a different value now let's see how we'll know what are the total list of attributes available so for that for it, it can be for a, an, any widget not only that button so let me just print now bt1 is my button here so config now this returns me a dictionary so i will get the keys of it so once i am getting the keys of it that will give me the all the attributes now let's run this and see here you can see let me close this you can see all the attributes are available here the list of attributes active background active foreground anchor background border width bg you can just see a big list is available these are the attributes available for the button now let me just change this to my parent window so even for that also whatever things attributes are there my underscore w here i have declared it my as my parent window at the top so this i will now let me get what are the attributes available for that so here it is i will just move a little up or let me clear it and run once again so let's run this here you can see all the whatever the attributes of my parent window is available now let's say how i'll get a particular value of a attribute so i know what is the text written on the button so i want to print that so what i will say print now button is bt1 now this particular button i am printing the text so this uh, i will get the value what is written on the text now here it is you can see it is written welcome here similarly there is another way also i can use the let me comment this line now one more is print now bt1 that is my button now seagate i will say text this also will give me the same output whatever i have written here at the line number six i have written welcome let us print all the attributes and its values we'll remove these three lines now let's start it for options in bt1 bt1 is my button here dot config now i get a dictionary here now options are the keys in that so what i am telling is print options now plus because this is the just i am formatting it how to print it plus now i am just giving a colon so it's a format only plus so another string addition so there may be some integer values particularly width and all or font so in that case i had to convert it into string so i am writing it str so whatever the output comes convert it to string so bt bt1 now here in within that options so now what will happen is this option this variable will pick up one by one keys from the whatever dictionary i will get of list of dictionary with the attribute values the keys will be first printed here this will print the key then the then this semicolon to separate the with the values then the i am getting the values by this is the again the dictionary so using the key i am getting the value that value i am printing and giving a separator here semicolon now let's run this all this output will appear in the console was the console now you can see here that say there is a big list is there you can see this that's what i am scrolling down all the okay some things are below are also there so this is a big list of uh, values now even i can change this particular one instead of bt1 i can give my underscore w so my parent window all the thing here also i have to change my underscore w so i am getting all the attributes and its values totally it's printing it has printed it here you can see here it is whatever thing and you can just list out pad x pad y tech focus visual all a big list is there 
let us remove this and it is not that every uh, attribute is available with every widget no the, we can specifically check whether that attribute is available or not now here i am uh, used one spin box this is another widget so the, let's just run it and see one button and one spin box here is the button here is the spin box i can change the value two widgets i placed now let's check one particular attribute is available in in it or not so the attribute is if i'm within quotes bit bit map in l sorry in b t1 dot config that means if this is available bitmap attribute is available then print attribute is available or if it is not so then else is not available now if i'll run it i'll get a output here based whether it is available or not let me say with the button it is available or not attribute is available because the button supports the bitmaps so now let me just change this bt1 to sb1 it's a spin box so a particular attribute i am just checking whether it sb1 my spin box supports this attribute or not so let me run this attribute is not available that means this particular attribute bitmap i cannot use in the in case of a sb1 that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and these attributes will be using in our applications whatever we will develop in the in our kinter windows so hope this uh, you understood and how we have changed by using config and how we are listing it we are setting the values and all and these are all will frequently will be using it in our applications before we move my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also and if you have doubt suggestion questions or any ideas use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching